Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy to see you in another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about the concept of joins. Okay, it is a powerful way to join and combine multiple tables in SQL. Let's jump right ahead into the topic. So, as you've seen in the previous videos, we are using this table called marks where we have the ID of the student, the name of the student, the section which he belongs to, and the marks he secured in the midterm exam and the final exams, right? This was one table we have been seeing in the past videos. I've added a new table to explain this concept of join. So the name of the table is called as language, okay? It has the ID of the student and the foreign language he has subscribed to in the school. So student ID one studies Spanish, student ID three studies French and so on, okay? The key here is, there is a connection between these two tables, okay? So if you see, there is student ID in this table and there is student ID also in this table, right? Both these tables have student ID as a common column. In order to do a join in SQL, it is important for both tables to have a common column and we will be joining on this particular column, okay? So if you see here, student ID one studies Spanish, okay? And actually, if you see at the other table, the student ID one is actually named Aditya, okay? So by joining these two tables, we will know that actually Aditya is studying Spanish. Let's go ahead and try to understand the different types of join. The first type of join is called as inner join. In this case, what will happen is when we join these two tables, the output will only display rows where there was a match found for student ID value in table two, which is obviously the language table. Let's run this once with the syntax and then you will be able to understand what I mean. So you, the syntax goes like this. So you select star from cricket.marks uh, space A. A is just an alternate name or alias name I'm giving. Then you say inner join and put the name of the second table. So cricket.language B and use the on clause here and this is to indicate on what column we want to join the two tables okay so we'll say on a dot student id okay is equal to b dot student id so since we've given alias names we can use a dot student id b dot student id if this a and this b were not there we would use on marks.studentid, right? We have to type the actual name of the table equal to language.studentid, okay? But for the sake of simplicity, I'm adding an alias name as, as it is way easier to write the query. Okay, so just check this original table, like mark table, we have 10 IDs, right? So when I join this, let's see what happens. You see, we get only six rows. And surprisingly, for instance, student ID two has disappeared, student ID five has disappeared, and we don't even see student ID nine and 10, which were there in the original marks table. What exactly is happening here? If you see the other table, the language table, student ID one is studying Spanish, student ID three is studying French, right? Student ID 2 is missing in this table. We don't have data in this table. Similarly, student ID 5 is missing here. Student ID 9 and 10 are also missing, right? So what SQL does is it joins the two tables only in cases where there is a match for student ID. And since student ID 2, student ID 5, student ID 9 and 10 were missing in the second table, which is the language table, we are not able to get the output for those rows. They are taken away from the output, okay? And from here, we can now clearly see student ID 1, Aditya is studying Spanish. Student ID 3, Ajish is studying French. Student ID 4, Bharat is studying German because for these student IDs, 1, 3, and 4, the data was available in the other table for the language, okay? Imagine you want to see the same output, but for whichever uh, persons, the language output is not there in the other table. You still want to see them in the output, right? You don't want to eliminate them from the output. How would you do that? Here is by using a left outer join, okay? Instead of ju just change this, instead of the inner join, you type left outer join. Now see what happens when I run this query. Now you see 
we get all the student ids right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10. however since ajay or student id 2 did not have a value for language in this table sql will assign it a value null right for the values of the second table since the values are not there in the second table sql assigns a value null however our original values from the first table are still retained same is the case for student id 5 jim did not have values in the language table for language and hence student id and foreign language those two columns from the other table are assigned null same with id's 9 and 10 as they were also not present in the other table right this is our left outer join box so it retains the elements of the first table right first table is the table we are using after the from clause and for the elements of the second table for which the id is missing it assigns a null value as you see if there, there was a match it it takes that value from the other table similarly instead of doing the left outer join you could also do something like a right outer join when i run this what happens is by saying a right outer join now the second table right the language table now becomes our primary table so in this instance what happens is all the occurrences of the second table are outputted but only the matches of the first table are outputted wherever there is not a match we will see null values as you see here i will click quickly explain you what i mean by this so for id number 1 in this table we had spanish and in the first table which is marks table we did have the student id one name right so since there was a match we are getting values for this as well as this but then as we scroll down same with id 3 right id 3 was available in both tables so we are able to do the join and all the outputs are coming but when we scroll down a little bit for student id number 12 student id id number 16 and student id number 17 in the language table i see there are values arabic portuguese chinese that is great right but on the left side right for the marks table we see null null values why do we see this it is because the marks table never had any ids above 10 right so to recap the marks table the highest id was 10 there was no student id 12 16 17 17 which is why for 12 16 17 it is showing null values and 12 16 and 17 are showing in our output because we are treating the right table or the language table as our primary table and since these values are there in the primary table at the bottom they are being outputted since there is no match in the uh, left table which is the marks table we get a null value okay this is a very powerful concept to combine the tables so do keep this in mind it's useful to join tables okay and instead of doing a star we could also just select certain columns right say i just wanted the i would change this back to the left outer join to treat the marks table as the primary table say i wanted just see certain columns i wanted to see the a dot student id i could just do this i could type a dot student id i want to see the a dot name and then uh, from the second table i also want to see the student id so type b dot student id and i want to see the b dot name of the foreign language he or she is studying to so just make the output a little more cleaner so now when i run this you see an error unknown column b right what has happened is i missed the dot here i put a comma instead always remember when you write to check your uh, uh, query even some minute error might make the output not run so now when i run this now you see it's pretty straight forward aditya is studying spanish ajay there is no mention of foreign language in the other table so it's giving as null same with jim johnny is studying spanish and akshay and anish are not there because here there was no student id 9 and 10 right no foreign language values as simple as that simple and powerful concept we will cover more about joins in examples in upcoming advanced videos for now this is good to know and a great place to start If you like the video do subscribe to the channel if you're interested in learning little more basic videos and understanding the bar clause the case statement the group by and the having clause do check out the description section i've added the links to those videos stay tuned for further videos i will see you again in another video till then take care and bye